Okay, so this horn is for sale. It is a, it says on the bell, C.A. Wunderlich. I don't know how to pronounce this. S-I-E-B-E-N-B-R-U-N-N, comma, V-G-F-L. I think that's where it's made, so. It has a nine and a half inch bell. I had this horn uh, fixed around nine months ago the, ins the inner slide is all raw brass I think except for down here but there used to be a leak right ar right around here and I had that fixed since when I got the horn redone um, the inner slide needs to be clean I can clean that now, the interesting thing about this horn is that the the spit valve is on the complete opposite side, so if you need to, I guess, empty it, it's on the other side. It has the, the German snakes on it. I think that's what they're called, feral snakes. Over there, over here at the tip, too. Nine and a half inch bell. Has an F valve that does have a tuning slide, but the main part of the horn does not have a tuning slide. I think the way this horn works is that the tuning slide is in the uh, it's on the slide itself but I'm not sure myself how to tune it further up or down but it's a trombone it's a tuning slide in itself. Um, the F valve has a chain link and it's a little bit awkward to hold since you don't have a good place to put your thumb. So if you hold it, it's mostly going to be in your forefinger. Um, it does have a wire holder, so I think this was made for military use about a hundred years ago. Um, there's more. I'll post more information in the video description, but this is the horn. Oh yeah. Uh, I think it has a, hope you can see this, I think it's a medium shank slash European shank. If I get a large shank mouthpiece, like uh, this is a Clier 4BL, let's see if I can get this well. It doesn't fit in all the way. You can see in the shank markings on this mouthpiece, it only goes about, about halfway in. It did have a mouthpiece that came with a horn, but I've since lost it, and it, honestly it was it was a bad mouthpiece. But anyways, how this horn sounds, um, I'll be displaying this with a German mouthpiece, because apparently German mouthpieces make this have more of a German sound. I'm not used to it myself. It did have springs in the slide as well. Um, they're taken out. The guy who repaired me took them out. I have them in a plastic bag and a Ziploc if you need them. Yeah, I can't tell the tuning on this thing. Um, interesting thing is, if I compare this to my bass, I think that the positions are going to be a little bit more off than usual. So I'm not too familiar. With the, I haven't really tuned around with this too much in a while. I, I bought this in high school. So that was probably about eight, six, 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 seven years ago. I'm sure that with a European mouthpiece, it'll have it'll be a little bit better tuning wise because it'll the shank will fit in. But right now, the only things I have is the large shank. I don't have any small shank mouthpieces on me. Um, if I was to use a bass mouthpiece, see how that sounds, my bass mouthpiece. Yeah, I'm not used to the valve itself, because you do have to push it further than, I mean, I play on the green notes, not the, you have to push it a little bit further 
Uh, I guess on my horn, the response is kind of shorter. It is. It does feel a little bit stuffy, but I guess that's the nature of the horn. Um, if you're interested, you can ask more questions about this horn. Um, ask more about it. It's for sale. Uh, just comparison to my old horn. Like I said, if you're going to use a large shank mouthpiece, I wouldn't push in too hard because I feel like um, if you push in too hard, the, the metal here is not as hard as, it's not as tough in a normal trombone. I think it's worn out a little bit, so it takes the mouthpiece a little bit better than it used to. See anything else? Inner slide. Um, here's a bit of what the valve looks like. Again, this horn's for sale. If you have any questions, please let me know.